Breaking. Our Fox News drone is back over the br International Bridge in Del Rio, where it appears the mass of migrants has expanded once again. Stunning visuals. More than 11,000 under the bridge as of yesterday with more streaming in. Expect that number to be bigger today. How's it going, everybody? For your mind here. Board Biden's border crisis. Say with me. This is Biden's fault. 100% Biden's fault. You didn't see anything like this during the Trump administration. You saw nothing like this. And you still see kids in cages, but AOC isn't screaming and crying over a fake picture like she was. Uh, this is what it looks like at the Del Rio Bridge at the border of the U.S. and Mexico. And I am absolutely stunned by what I am witnessing right now. We are at a boat in the uh, Rio uh, Grande near the Del Rio International Bridge. And we are watching as masses of hundreds of migrants walk across the river uh, from Mexico and stream into the U.S. There is no border anymore. You remember all the uh, saying that the uh, left wants open borders? Well, Biden is giving it to them. Biden is on vacation right now. We'll get into that in a minute. All right, guys, what you're looking at right now is that is the U.S. side of the Rio Grande. That is a mass of several hundred illegal immigrants who have just crossed the Rio Grande. And look at this, several hundred more streaming across as we speak. We're on a boat in the Rio Grande. This is the Mexican side of the river right now. You can see it's a never-ending stream, hundreds of people crossing the Rio Grande basically every hour. And they're heading over to the International Bridge, which you can see in the background. Look at that mass of people. This is why the situation under the bridge continues to deteriorate. This is insane. The federal government has to wake up. The federal government needs to wake up. Um, I'm going to go on a limb and say, and say the Biden administration wants this to happen. Where, where's the borders are? Kamala Harris. She seems to be MIA every time there's a crisis. She was MIA on the Afghan crisis. She was MIA... MIA on the border crisis the first time the, when they started reporting on it. It's still happening. She's still not there. She's the border czar. That's what they said. But Biden vacation at Delaware Beach House after a week of heavy losses. This is happening. This is happening. After Haiti gets an earthquake that kills 22,000 people or 2,200 people, sorry, and destroys over 100,000 thousand homes leaving people homeless that's why haiti haitians are coming to the u.s that's one of the reasons uh, biden has been at his Ra uh, rehoboth beach house since friday after getting hammered on foreign and domestic fronts mia the, the the biden administration is mia as it usually is just with the just like with the afghan situation and, you know, where is Kamala Harris? Well, she's too busy at a football a football game this past weekend instead of going to the border in Del Rio and, you know, helping out or doing anything or saying anything. And we have Ted Cruz who actually is doing stuff and actually reporting this and actually, you know, trying to do something about it. We're in Del Rio, Texas. It is September 16th. This is underneath one bridge, 10,503 illegal aliens, a mass of humanity that has crossed and is waiting to come into America. The reason they're here is simple. Eight days ago, the Biden administration made a political decision, a political decision to cancel deportation flights to Haiti. They did that on September 8th. Eight days later, these numbers appeared. On September 8th, underneath this bridge, there were between 700 and 1,000 people. But when the word got out that Joe Biden and Kamala Harris were no longer deporting people who came from Haiti, suddenly everyone who was here called their friends, called their family, and the numbers surged to 10,503. That's what's here today. It is more than the capacity of the Border Patrol to handle. This is the result of a political decision. 
this is a result. Ted Cruz is 100% right. You may not agree with him politically, but he is 100% right. Biden allowed thousands of Haitian migrants to shelter under Texas Bridge amid pandemic. The Joe Biden administration has allowed more than 10,000 Haitian migrants to cross the southern border into Texas, where they are camping out under the bridge that connects Texas and Mexico. Per the New York Post, several government officials have ref referred to the situation in Del Rio, Texas, as unprecedented. Uh, the migrants arrived as the president attempts to usher in tens of thousands of Afghan evacuees amid a alleged COVID pandemic. According to reports, none of these people will be forced to take the experimental COVID vaccine jab. Uh, this is a man-made crisis. Eight days ago on September 8th, under the same bridge, there were between 700 and 1,000 people. Yada, yada, yada. The FFA... The... The FAA grounded Fox News drones that were capturing the migrant crisis in Del Rio, Texas. So local law enforcement took them up in a helicopter. You may, you may be thinking, how? What do you what do you mean by this for your mind? What do you mean by this? Biden's Biden's FAA temporarily bans drones from flying over Texas Bridge full of illegal aliens. The Biden regime is trying to cover up the invasion they're facilitating. Yes, the Biden, Biden regime is trying to cover up this, just like they try to cover up cabal, just like they're trying to cover up the economy going in the, the gutter. Uh, yeah, they're trying to cover up all their, their shitty things that they're doing to get stupid people and normies to vote for them. I mean, like, oh, well, we didn't know Biden was this bad, even though we had 50 plus years of uh, footage on this dude. Yes. Even after the Obama administration, a lot of people don't know what Biden was capable of during the Bo uh, the Obama administration. He, he's trying to cover up this by banning drones from flying over. And video courtesy of Texas DPS shows the current situation under the International Bridge in Del Rio, Texas, where more than 14,000 migrants have gathered after crossing illegally into the U.S., none of these people will be forced to get the COVID jab. Well, that's uh, that's uh, hilarious. That's funny that these people can be bunched up like they're in Target and Walmart. But we all have to wear masks and we all have to suffer. Yeah, that's funny. That's hilarious. Uh, no normal functioning country would tolerate this crap. You're absolutely right. We're not. A, we don't have a borders anymore. We we essentially do not have a border anymore, which makes us not a country anymore. Border now heard the source last night that there's 6,000 illegal immigrants under the International Bridge in Del Rio. Chatter about another 20K on the way, unconfirmed. Mostly Haitians, some Cubans, and Venezuelans. Most transported to BP station, processed, and released. Where, where are all the people that are screaming about COVID? Where, where are all those people screaming about six feet and masks and get the jab where are all those people oh it's because it's political and it's about not about your health and as i said this is state uh, sponsored invasion emptying the del rio camp slowly one bus at a time most will be rewarded for their illegal entries soon with temporary residence cards and freedom to live and work Illegals are going to get bu bust and flown to your town. Remember a couple months ago when the Biden administration was smuggling immigrants into, I believe, Missouri? It was one of the middle states. They were smuggling in illegal immigrants. The Biden administration, the Biden regime. Well, that's going to be video, guys. Let me know in the comment section below what you think. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.